Here we are. Ms. Rexroth, I am so delighted you decided to come. Well, I must admit I was curious. Something to start. Some wine, perhaps? Red? French? Bordeaux? Chateau Margot? 57. 59. 54. Mm, Mr. Massey. Good, sir. Your husband had told me you were the most beautiful woman that he'd ever met. I didn't expect the most beautiful woman I'd ever met. Dismiss your vows, your fainted tears, your flattery. For where a heart is hard, they make no battery. Whoever loved that loved not at first sight. Now, you didn't ask me here to pick me up. You could be disbarred for that. Maybe I'm reckless. What was your performance about this afternoon? What did your lawyer say? Oh, Freddie thinks you're a buffoon. He says you've been too successful, you're bored, complacent, and you're on your way down. But you don't think so. How do you know? Why would you be here? Why did you ask me? Can't I be curious? About what? Do you ever answer questions? To you? I'll have the tornadoes and beat the lady will have the same. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I assume you're a carnivore. <laughs> oh, Mr. Massey, you have no idea. Miles, please, tell me more about yourself. All right, Miles. Let me tell you everything that you need to know. You may think you're tough, but I eat men like you for breakfast. I've invested five good years in my marriage to Rex, and I've nailed his ass fair and square. Now I'm going to have it stuffed, mounted, and have my lady friends come over and throw darts at it. Man-hater, huh? People don't go on safaris because they hate animals. So it's just for the hunt, with the trophy at the end? No, nothing so frivolous. This divorce means money. Money means independence. That's what I'm after. What are you after, Miles? Oh, I'm a lot like you. Just looking for an ass to mount. 